audio jungle. Hello fellow gamers, today we're going to review a game that's been out for a while. I just never got around to reviewing it. It is Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm playing it on just the regular PlayStation 4 and I can tell you if you have a 4K HDR TV that it still displays not in 4k but the HDR and this game pardon me for the lack of a generic term but this game looks amazing just like spider-man uh, this game is just almost without words but I'm gonna put, try to put it into words um, see perfect it's definitely the best Spider-Man game that they've ever made, hands down. I really like this game. It has some puzzle elements in it, like right here, there's a satellite, and you have to enable the satellites so the radar comes online, and you can see on the map where bad guys are, you know, things of this nature. Uh, you can see where the next part of the missions are and if there's any crime going on. Then here is the map and you can see you can get gadgets and you earn skill points to power up Spider-Man and there are three different branches of skill points. There's also, I said about the gadgets, there's different suits you can earn and each suit has a different ability or look and, and different things to that particular suit um, there uh, you can see the open world and you can set waypoints so that you know you can get to that particular place um, you can look to see the things that you have accomplished also there is a list of the moves if you don't know how to do the moves right there you can just look them up and it'll tell you how to do the moves and like I said about that open world part right here is the open world map and it tells you on the legend on the left you know what there is out there now this game is remarkable the gravity the physics and everything all put together the sound I mean this right here is me just having fun whenever I'm not playing missions in this game or playing the story I just go around this big huge open beautiful world oh right here is another part of those puzzles I was telling you about um, this is a part where like spider-man he goes through these like ventilation shafts and you know sometimes that's the way he sneaks into places but as I was saying sometimes I just get so caught up into the game that I just swing around the city and just take in you know all the breathtaking views because this game looks ultra good you know for you know just for uh, PlayStation 4 and I couldn't imagine it in 4K I mean the HDR makes a huge difference also uh, you can run up buildings and y you know you can stick to the walls you can even walk really slow if you need to walk slow crawling you can do back flips back bends um, you know as you progress through the game you learn all these, like I said, different moves and aerial combat and your strength and your, and you know, you get stronger and your webs, you can carry more webs. <clears throat> and it's not that hard of a game. Some people say, you know, some people have said that 
first person games, you know, a one player game with no online component is dead. Well, they have no idea as what they're talking about cuz this is a single player game. It has no online capability and this game hits it out of the ballpark. I mean, this game is really good if you like action, suspense, a touch of comedy and uh superhero games. I mean, this game is it. And I tried to find bad things to this game because that's what I do. You know, I want to test it out fully. And I just have not been able to find a downside to this game. This game has a great replay value because you can always find different weapons and different upgrades and it will take a long time many hours for you to get those also the cinematic scenes in this and the actors that they hired do a superb job I mean you can like almost see the pores on their skin and their acting is not wooden I mean it's believable it's like as if you're playing a movie, really. I mean, the actors, you know, were all new and everything. But it's really like you're playing a movie. And it's mixed with an open world, too. And that is its own uniqueness and awesomeness. Now, this game is made by Insomniac. Which you may have heard recently, Sony just purchased them. So, and, you know, if now. you're looking at this video and you're seeing this game, there's no question why. I mean, I'm sure they're going to make more Spider-Man games or other superhero games. And, you know, that's it's going to be really awesome. You can see Spider-Man can also, his Spidey sense, he's got that going on. Uh, you can see that he webs up people. They actually get trapped up in the web. There's just a lot of cool moves he has. He has one called a web blossom with a certain Spider-Man suit. And he jumps up in the air and it's like a machine gun of spider webs going everywhere. I do that at the end of this video. You'll get to see it. It's really awesome. Uh, here's the cutscene that almost brought a tear to my eye. They pay tribute to Stan Lee. There, there's his cameo in this game. And you know, you guys know that he passed away, which was very sad. And I'm glad that he was able to make have a cameo in, in this game. Um. Oh, this this game also has weather effects, night and day. It has time. Um, you can see at night. Uh, how everything looks. It looks sort of realistic. As you know, I'm, I'm swinging, web slinging all over the city, having fun. And you know, there's always different things to do in this game. And that's one of the big appeals to it. It makes it really fun. And I'm, I'm getting ready to close out. Remember that ultra cool web uh, move? Right there it was. Tell me that wasn't cool. So to close out this video, guys, I definitely give this game a 10 out of 10. And I hardly ever give a game that. You guys really need to play this game whether you're a Spider-Man fan or not. Until next time, my fellow gamers, keep gaming and I will see you later.